Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about MT Shella syndrome. ESS. MT Shella syndrome is a medical condition that occurs when the Shella tarsica, a part of the body of the sphenoid bone at the base of the skull, housing the pituitary gland, appears empty or partially empty on imaging studies like MRI or CT scans. Any condition or treatment that destroys part or all of the pituitary gland such as ablation of the pituitary by surgery or radiation can result in an empty shella and the empty shella syndrome. In empty shella syndrome, the pituitary gland is usually flattened and may not be functioning normally. Types and pathogenesis. There are two types. In a primary empty shella, a defect in the diaphragma shella allows the arachnoid matter and cerebrospinal fluid to herniate into the shell, expanding the shell and compressing the pituitary. Classically, this occurs in obese women with a history of multiple pregnancies. Affected individuals often present with visual field defect and occasionally with endocrine anomalies such as hyperprolactinemia due to the interruption of inhibitory hypothalamic input. Sometimes the loss of function in parenchyma is sufficient to produce hypopituitarism. In secondary empty shell, mass, a mass such as pituitary adenoma enlarges the shell and then either surgically removed or undergo infraction, leading to loss of pituitary function. So we are looking at the, an MRI image okay, that has been taken from Google with the radiopedia.org. What is the empty shell in this image? This is the empty shell. This is the sphenoidal sinus, this is the sphenoid bone, and this is the empty shell. So a 35 year old female presents with chronic headache and visual disturbance. She underwent a brain MRI revealing a flattened pituitary gland and the pituitary fossa seems to be empty. This is the pituitary fossa. This seems to be empty. The patient denies any significant medical history Hormonal evaluation indicates mild deficiencies in multiple pituitary hormones. What is the most likely diagnosis? Choices are empty shell syndrome, pituitary adenoma, Cushing syndrome, acromegaly, prolactinoma. The answer is empty shell syndrome. And this is the empty shella tarsica. Symptoms of empty shella syndrome. What are the symptoms? In some cases, empty shella syndrome may not cause any noticeable symptoms and is discovered incidentally during imaging for other medical reasons. Okay, what are the symptoms? If it is present, headache, low sex drive, that is decreased libido, importance, erectile dysfunction, seizing of menstrual period in female, infertility, both male and female, fatigue, intolerance to stress and infection. In children, empty shell syndrome may be associated with early onset of puberty, growth hormone deficiency, 
pituitary tumor or pituitary dysfunction. Magnetic resonance imaging is useful in evaluating empty shell syndrome both in adult also in the children. Diagnosis, how can we diagnose this? Magnetic resonance imaging or computerized axial tomography scan are useful in evaluating empty shell syndrome. You can also assess the blood level of other hormones. Treatment depends on the underlying cause and the symptoms exhibited by the individual. In cases where there are hormonal imbalances, hormone replacement therapy may be considered. And that's all about the empty Shella syndrome. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.